It's cool stuff. So this is the Fillmore lobby, as we call it. Okay. Before there were pictures of bands like you guys that play, yeah. um, Bill, in 1965, I believe, uh, not only was putting the shows together, but he figured that people weren't always so social and didn't know how to act at a concert, because concerts were what they are today. Yeah. People didn't dance. Rock concerts were a very new concept in 65. He would put newspaper articles, posters, information that he thought was rebellious or interesting, and he put it all over these walls. And slowly over time, that kind of morphed into, well, hey, John Lee Hooker played, so, you know, we've got a shot of that, and we put it up. That's cool. Yeah, uh, amazing shot. Yeah. Ray Charles King Curse, Aretha Franklin. You know, my favorite record is uh, La Aretha Franklin, yeah. Live at the Fillmore West. It's a crazy record. Right? Yeah, it's an unbelievable it's a piece of music. In addition to that, he put the apple barrel right there, which is kind of a symbol of the film work today, because he thought that some people might be embarrassed to talk to others or wouldn't know how to be social. Right. And so, I feel that way all the time. <laughs> yeah, you can relate. So, so it's not that it just gave people something to throw at the band? Yeah, yeah, we've seen some of that too. We obviously can't cover everybody, but there's been so many amazing shows here. And, uh, you know, you got Johnny Cash, who Obviously, we lost this last yeah, year. That's a great picture. Who played here cash. as well? The Fillmore's been open three times. It, it was open in the '60s for two years, and then Bill opened the Fillmore East in New York, and then it was open in the '80s and it got crushed by the earthquake, and then we reopened in 1993. And this is kind of the golden age for us. It, it's been open for 10 years. It's the longest the room's ever been open. Wow. We've just had so many amazing shows. This is the Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, and the cool thing about that was that the Heartbreakers career was fragile at the moment and he decided to do 20 nights here. They would do four or five shows, take a night off, do four or five shows and the intensity just got higher and higher. Tom really felt like that was a pinnacle moment for him. He felt like he had kind of been reborn after these shows and he kind of told people that he felt like he could take the Heartbreakers back you know, on the road and put out another record with them and we were really, it was really fun. I was at two of those shows they were great. It was amazing to see Tom Petty in a place like this. Bill was uh, very fond of Janis Joplin, so this is kind of the Janis photo. She's a person who's in a lot of pain, and Bill really related to that. This other big piece is the last note of the last set of the Who's final performance at Winterland. Killer. And this is the coolest photo. It is the this it's probably the greatest. This photo. is one reason why I do this. <laughs> that photo right there. I asked the photographer, "How did you get this shot?" Uh, and he goes, uh, "I'll tell you that that shot was so hard." To take because the acid was kicking in right as I took the shot. <laughs> I was like, oh my god. <laughs> but what's cool is the crowd, too. Yeah. The crowd is, it's a pinnacle moment, you can tell. It's almost the perfect photo, except there's no bass player. Yeah, that's like, right. Hey, so those bass players never get it. <laughs> yeah, you're hurt. You know, Robin, and you, well, you can, notice. You can, you can stand right over here, Robin. This is sort of the hallowed hall where uh, artists that have passed away that were important to Bill and played the film on. Jerry Garcia over here in the corner. And Miles Davis played on this stage, and so we were able to find a pretty rare photo of him. Willie Nelson has not passed away, and he has played here as well, and those shows are great, but that, that's not a poster, that's put together with little pieces of pipe and bullets and wrenches, and this guy put together this really cool picture of Willie. Yeah, this is a killer picture of Jerry. Yeah, it's a big tribute to him, a very good friend of Bill back there. You know, most people came here expecting to see Eric Clapton, the rock and roll, you know, set that he plays. And what he did was uh, yeah. sat down with some great musicians and they just did straight blues guitar. And uh, it just blew people away. It was just a stunning moment. This is the uh, sort of the famous poster gallery here at the film. This is where the band uh, eats before they go on stage. And it's kind of a mind bender because when, when I, as the manager, watch bands like Big Head Todd eat, you can tell that you know, in between mouthfuls, they kind of look up and see some trippy poster and go, yeah. holy shit, I can't believe that. Yeah. <laughs> so it's just kind of... It is a mind bender for sure. It's overwhelming. You're sitting here just shaking in your boots going, wow, we get to play on the stage that all these people have been on. The first poster Bill did up in that corner, the dance concert, and it kind of comes down. And oh, wow. These are all the famous 60s posters by uh, Stanley Mouse and Lee Conklin. Bill was using, using these posters to advertise shows around town, and with, within a couple years, people just were stealing them all the time, and <laughs> right. they became collector's items, yeah. and 
you guys have gotten some Fillmore posters yourselves, and I think, you know, you can tell me, but I think you guys really dig it when you get a poster. It's kind of a cool thing. You know that you're up on the walls, and oh, yeah. you are a permanent piece of rock and roll That's history. Right. Where are you guys? Uh, where are you guys at here on the on the wall? I'm um, right there. That's oh, a killer poster. They're kind of a space alien. It's not quite the '60s vibe that we had going on in there, but it's pretty it's, damn cool. It'd be cool if it said "and muddy waters." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <Excellent. laughs> 